We're learning disturbing new details about an ongoing Amber Alert involving a missing two-day-old infant. The child's father is behind bars facing two counts of first-degree murder. Action News 5's Bria Bolden joins us live now with what she's learned late tonight. Bria. Well, Joe, Memphis police are still looking for the body of two-day-old infant Kennedy Hoyle. Now, in the past 20 minutes, we've learned some disturbing details about this tragedy. Now, we have learned that Kennedy's father admitted to Memphis police that he lured Kennedy's mother to an area where he then shot her in the head. Brandon Isabel then told police that he took two-day-old Kennedy to, um, excuse me, he took her to the Mississippi Riverfront and put her in the water. Now, Brandon Isabel Isabel is behind bars tonight at 201 Poplar, and he's facing several charges, including two counts of first degree murder. Now, I caught up with Danielle and Kennedy's family tonight, and they told us that they are saddened by this tragedy and they miss them dearly and want the man accused of their deaths to be held accountable. You, know, you can cry so much that tears don't even come down your eyes anymore. I, I, I ain't slept since it later. No, I haven't slept. I haven't slept. It's been 24 hours after April Campbell's daughter was killed and granddaughter disappeared. That yeah, she missed by everybody. Like I say, young folks make mistakes. But that wasn't a mistake. There wasn't a reason to kill my daughter. 27-year-old Danielle Hoyle was found shot to death near her car in Whitehaven around 11:15 Tuesday night. Police soon realized her newborn daughter wasn't with her. The search lasted all day Wednesday and into the night on Mud Island for two-day-old Kennedy Hoyle. I just wish I could just hold my grandbaby. I just want to tell them, you know, I love them. I miss him. After 6 p.m. Wednesday, police arrested Kennedy Hoyle's father, Brandon Isabel, on two counts of first degree murder, murder in the perpetration of aggravated kidnapping, especially aggravated kidnapping and tampering and fabricating evidence. This is what Campbell had to say about the man accused of killing her daughter and grandchild. I want him to suffer like he made my baby suffer. I want him to hurt. I don't want it to be easy for him. I want him to suffer. He needs to suffer. Why would you hurt a baby? Meanwhile, Memphis police say they will continue the search for Kennedy Hoyle's remains. The family also says they are appreciative of all the support they have received today. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Bria Bolden, Action News 5.